step right up, ladies and gentlemen, for an hour of non-stop fun and laughter with the Royal Emperor of Mirth. Come on in, the show's just about to start. Live on stage, humor and fun for all. Something to lighten up your day. In fact, lighten up your whole life. Jokes are one thing you can take with us to the afterlife. Then I won't have any use for them. Ah, we can buy our way into paradise by telling the Almighty a joke or two. The Almighty doesn't want to know me. Well, if you feel that, there's always the Prince of Hell. You can buy your way in there instead. Hey, you. Huh? On your feet, what are you up to? I'm just trying to keep warm. I've been watching you for some time, wondering about... I'm looking for somebody. And who might that be? I'm not sure. I'll know when I find him. Come on, boy, you're coming with me. What for? We'll find out why you're hanging about. Extra, extra, read all about it. State of emergency declared as Prime Minister dies. Army called out. Oh! Watch where you're going, you fool. Uh, I'm sorry, officer. Not as sorry as you're going to... Hey, hey, stop that, kid. Stop. Come back here. got to find the new partner who's been allotted to me. <gasps> halt! There's a saboteur threatening our tank formation! I can't let them Stop! take me, no matter what. This is your last warning! Must I be? Oh. He's dead. Sounds bad. The winter isn't producing the only blizzard. No. That doesn't matter to Toa. She'll die anyway. I've done everything I can. You're such a brilliant doctor. There must be something more. There's not, I'm afraid. It's hopeless. you. I know I'm dying. It's nearly over. I won't see the spring sunshine or feel its warmth. <coughs> I wish it didn't have to end like this. You're my twin sister, Toa, and I won't let it end without a fight. And so I found a special medicine. Oh. 
The only secret I've never shared with you or anyone is the site of the cave on Mermaid Hill, where great grandfather. Don't so what? Drink this. <coughs> it's mermaid's blood. Legend says that if you eat the flesh of a mermaid, you will live for all eternity. I've no flesh, only this blood to give you. I know it'll help. Drink it. Remove the saboteur's body. Yes, sir. <gasps> but where's he gone? Who knows? He was certainly dead. <gasps> saying no matter how many times you've died you always come back to life yes i can't remember how often it's been in the past centuries now i'll do the same thing i can't begin to imagine how it'll feel being reborn will i like it no one likes it you just accept it Pussy, why are you meowing? Hmm. Can we keep it? It seems so lonely. As lonely as we've been, but it'll die soon. It won't come back as we have to? No. It's luckier than we are. It'll only live for a short time? Yes, only for a short time. Can I just play with it? Till it leaves you.
Manna! <gasps> Excuse me! A friend of mine's disappeared! If she had an accident, this is where they'll have brought her. Do you mean to say even though she was injured, she walked out of here? Yes. They brought her to me and I found she was very slightly concussed. She rested a while and then insisted on leaving. Without leaving her name? Yes. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. So, if you'll excuse me, I have a house call to make. Hmm? So he's taking the old cliff road. Hmm? It means he's going to the Carnegie Mansion. Huh? An old woman lives up there alone. She must be well over 70. She had a twin sister, but I heard she died a long time ago. You know, apart from the doctor, she's never had anyone visiting her for years, as far as I know. She never gets any mail, never comes to town. Ah, gotta get home before this gets any heavier. She looks asleep, not dead. The girl had fallen a hundred feet and died at once. She's the youngest we've ever had and the most beautiful. There have been so many, I can't keep count. One every three years, ever since that terrible day all that time ago. How many more arms are to be amputated? Ask her. We go on until we find a mermaid. But you can't mean that. You know I do. And you also know there must be one somewhere on our estate. There is not. I've told you there isn't. Then where did you find the mermaid's blood? If you have nothing else to say, then don't interfere at all. My arm's hurting. I can't stand it. Hurry, Doctor! Hurry! <gasps> she moved. Impossible. <gasps> She's still alive. But I'm certain she was dead. This is proof the legend of the mermaid's flesh is real. Is she here? This garden stinks of death.
was the mermaid's blood I drank that produced this monster's claw, but a mermaid's flesh will cure me. Oh, the pain, my arm. <laughs> Shiro, can't you find me a mermaid? If Sawa could find one in Mermaid Forest, why can't you? Mermaid Forest? <gasps> Who is there? What do you want? I'm looking for a friend of mine. Are you? A young girl by any chance? You know about her? She is here then. Answer me! <laughs> Where's Mana? I know she came here. There's a good boy. Go now. We heard someone scream and thought maybe it hurt your arm. No, something terrible's happened. God. He's dead. Tell me the truth. Did you kill him? I never touched him. Look at his throat. It was torn out by some wild animal. too far cutting up those dead bodies so much death at our door why do you do it for her I love her nothing's changed in all these years <laughs> and it will never change But won't it hurt you to eat so much so soon? Why should it? <laughs> I eat what I like. Which is just how it should be. You've no idea how envious I feel about your young body. Huh? Mm? Is something wrong? Hey, will you stop staring at me like that? I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> I can't help wondering how you how you could come back to life again after the fall you had it's enough to know that I did I don't need to explain it I feel quite jealous when I look at you hmm Sawa so you have no family no then stay here with us we could live together like two sisters. I can't. I must go. Yuto will be waiting for me. I must try to find him. But he'll look as well. Eventually, he's bound to come this way. Mm, he might. So why don't you stay here and wait for him? I could. It's so lonely for me living here with no one but that hateful old hag. I've only got Yuta, but I don't feel lonely. This boy, Yuta, is he your boyfriend? What? No, he isn't. We're only friends. Really? I'm traveling with him. What's that? Huh? It looks like a pool of blood. <gasps> oh. 
What's wrong? Oh, I'm ill. I'm burning. What is it? Is it fever? Yes, but it's more than that. I shan't last much longer. It's terrible. Do you mean death? <laughs> if only that were all. But it isn't. I shall burn in hell alive. I need your help. The dream. The same dream. I can't help. You're beyond my skills. You must never reproach yourself. It's not your fault. <laughs> huh? Here. <laughs> she has eaten it. She must have tasted mermaid's flesh. Or it could be a miracle of nature. <laughs> to live eternally. Do you believe it's possible? <gasps> Help me! I can't stand anymore! I'll give you a shot of morphine. hers. Give me her arm. I can't do that. I can't cut the arm off a living girl. Is that what you want? Yes. I'm not the sun. I can't die at night and then rise again, newborn next day, only to die again. Oh. Mermaids live under God's special protection. It's worth risking his anger to eat one and gain eternal life. I can't help thinking of all the money I could earn if only death wasn't waiting. And think of all the women I haven't loved. What's wrong with you, Yuta? Don't you like the idea? You don't know what you're doing. I know I want to go on living. Do you? You mightn't be so pleased with your bargain when a few hundred years have gone by. Look!
<laughs> Eat it, Yuda, and you'll be immortal. by the meat. They're both dying. Shiro, you must be starving. I'm sorry, but I've been in pain. to turn it into a monster, but not to kill it. My beautiful Shiro, you're the only one who can even begin to understand what I'm going through. For when you drank the mermaid's blood, you shared the same fate inflicted on me. I knew it. I knew no ordinary beast attacked me. It had to be some monster. So you too are immortal. You've eaten mermaid's flesh. It's simply the way I am. But if I ate some, would I be immortal? Where is my friend? What have you done with my friend, Mana? Nothing. She's in the bathroom, preparing herself for me. What's that supposed to mean? I'll tell you if you'll answer this. Can an immortal live, though her head's been cut off? Tell me. I can tell you, you're quite mad. <laughs> Not mad, just desperate with pain. Shiro, I'm sure your hunger hasn't been satisfied. Tear off his head and eat it. Wait. Don't touch Mana. Don't touch her.
Enjoying yourself? May I stay and talk to you? If you like. Let me wash your back. Come and sit here and I'll rinse down your back for you. I'm clumsy with only one good hand, but let me try. I think I must go in the morning. Why? To try and find Yuta. He's bound to be worried about losing me. Yes, but you mustn't. You'll see him soon. What makes you so sure? Well, I've got a plan to reunite you with him. There's not a blemish on your body. Your skin feels like silk. <gasps> <laughs> that was a mistake. Switch heads? Yes. Mine for hers. I know you can do it. That's absurd. If just the arm is replaced, it'll become a monstrous claw again soon. Mm. But now something else is happening. I've begun to feel my whole body being increasingly affected. I'll pat your hand up. And what about the rest of me? I'm afraid. You've been my one support through everything I've suffered. Why have you sacrificed yourself? Answer me. Because, because I, because I love you. If you do, then help me this last time. Don't desert me now. Give me her body, and with it, eternal life. Mm. Sawa? I know you're out there. Why don't you come in? Don't listen to her. Don't do it. You can't. And who says so? The girl's still alive. You can't simply murder her. Well, you're a fine one to lecture me. <sighs> so, why are we waiting? There's a big difference between us. We're both beautiful, but I spend my days in agony while you bask in the glow of eternal life. I'm going to turn into a monster while you will remain lovely always. That isn't fair. So I'm going to take your body, then I will live forever. <sighs> 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 
No, Tala, stop. I'll show you. I, I, I'll take you to the cave where I got the mermaid's blood. So, you've finally given in to me. I've longed for this moment to come. What was that? That noise? I heard nothing. No one is going to come to your rescue. Great-grandfather netted it by accident and kept it here. Now we'll see if it's true that a person who eats its flesh will become an immortal like her. Let's finish what you started when you gave me some of her blood to cure me of my fever. Jump down and bring me a piece of that flesh. discovered this cave and found that cursed blood. It must have been here then. It has eaten mermaid's flesh. Where's Shiro? What have you... What have you done to him? Some who eat it die. Those who take less, like you, like Shiro, are transformed and condemned to live out their years as monsters. I pity him. I pity you, and your fate. Do you mean, I'll become a monster? Now, finally, I shall have mermaid's flesh. It's poisonous! Don't touch it! It 
isn't possible. It was still living, still living after so many years. There was no escape for it. Don't eat! Sawa, it's for you. <gasps> Eat it, Sawa. I never wanted it for myself, but for my loving sister who tricked me into drinking mermaid's blood. Then what you want is revenge. It was you. It's you who wanted immortality. But you were too afraid. Too afraid to risk everything. I was reading a book. I wonder if mermaids exist. What? The book said if you eat mermaids' flesh, you'll never die. I shall eat it, no matter what it costs. Why are you so determined? Don't you want to be like you are now, forever? I don't think so. Then you're stupid. Eh? I always want to be young. It's terrible to think of growing old. I want to live forever. Hmm. But I'm frightened. You knew what that monster was. You knew all those years ago. It was our great-grandfather. He'd eaten the captured mermaid's flesh. You thought that it could affect you in the same way. I was ill, so you decided to test it on me. On purpose? I'm sure you're wrong. No, I'm not. It's true. We're twins, so who better to be your guinea pig? We were almost one being, so if the mermaid's blood didn't harm me, it would be safe for you. Eventually, you married. You raised children. You lived a normal, happy life. You grew older, you'll die. But I won't let you go so easily. Eat it. Eat the flesh. Either you'll turn into a monster, or else you'll live forever, not as the beautiful girl you were, but as the old crone you are. Eat it! <laughs> She's dead. my revenge, but... Koa! <gasps> Doctor! <gasps>
everything is in that fire. All my bitterness, all my hatred. And now, now I only have my own emptiness. It's very lonely. I've always loved you. And you can still rely on me. Goodbye, Doctor. I must go now. Uh! Tower! Nana! My love, can I go with you? You can't take this journey without me. Looks as though the house is gone, too. Yes. And I think maybe it's just as well that its awful secrets have been destroyed. What's it like to be dead? Perhaps it means to be free of our chains, those chains that keep us bound through life. Like what? Hatred, bitterness, the desire for revenge. But I don't feel tied down by those things at all. Uh. Most people are, but you're different. How do you make that out? You're like a bird flying freely. Hmm. <gasps> Look! Shooting stars! Ooh! Huh? Yes, she's returned to the mermaid forest, in the depths of the sea. Her soul, if not her body, is immortal. Eternal? Yes, eternal. As a matter of interest, Yuta, how long is eternity? The answer is in the question. Until the end of time. Until the end of time, but that's forever and ever. That's right. Will all human beings on the Earth be dead by then? Hmm. But wait a minute. Will we still be alive? Probably. Just the two of us? Tell me this, then. What? Will we be lonely when there's only two of us? Well, not with two of us. But suppose you didn't have me. In that case, you might be. What would you do? Mm. Find you. Huh? Say you couldn't find me. Oh, I could. And if you couldn't, what would you do? Keep on looking. Suppose you still couldn't find me. I'd look a bit more. All right, and then? Then I'd look for you. I'd look my whole life long, for all eternity. This conversation's hopeless. But thanks 